In the U.S., a whistleblower who worked for Facebook has told lawmakers that the social media giant fuels division, harms children, and urgently needs to be regulated. Nathan King has more. It's not even the middle of the week here in Washington, but it's so far been a terrible week for Facebook and its related apps. We have that outage which cut off billions of users at the beginning of the week. And now testimony here on Capitol Hill from uh, the whistleblower, Frances Howard. Now, she has appeared in uh, uh, the uh, Wall Street Journal with her testimony, documents taken from the company that were widely available on 60 Minutes as well. And, and basically, she points a damning picture of the choices facing uh, Facebook executives from Mark Zuckerberg on down. Essentially, she says profits were put over people, that the algorithm uh, does not detect more than 10% of the hate speech that they're meant to root out. She was part of the election monitoring unit that led up to January 6th here, of course. And of course, there's going to be hearings, not just here in Washington, but in uh, Brussels with the European Union, in London and elsewhere. There are 3 billion unique Facebook users globally a month, so this matters. And she really opened her testimony by saying, look, this is not a choice, as Facebook says, between free speech uh, and hate speech. This is something that Facebook could control if it could just dampen a bit of its profits. Facebook wants you to believe that the problems we're talking about are unsolvable. They want you to believe in false choices. They want you to believe that you must choose between a Facebook full of divisive and extreme content or losing one of the most important values our country was founded upon, free speech. I am here today to tell you that's not true. These problems are solvable. A safer, free speech respecting, more enjoyable social media is possible. You, you are a 21st century American hero, oh, warning you. our country of the danger mm -hmm. for young people, for our democracy, and our nation owes you uh, just a huge debt of gratitude. Essentially, she said the algorithm is key. It decides everything. Advertisements are unleashed on Facebook, uh, largely with just a machine uh, saying yes, very few people. Uh, that uh, they have skipped over evidence, as shown in the Wall Street Journal, that 30% plus of teenage girls feel worse about their bodies after being on the app uh, Instagram. Uh, it is quite an indictment for a company that essentially controls speech, not just here often uh, in the US, uh, but around the world as well. There's going to be huge implications. There is even talk about making Facebook responsible for its own algorithm, responsible for its own machines, which internal documents say encourage negative engagement because it drives more traffic than positive engagement, like sharing photos of grandma. And one bit of testimony hit me as the father of a 14-year-old boy, uh, that basically a lot of people feel that the last thing teenage kids feel at night is negativity spread by the platform Instagram just before they go to bed. That's a shame. Nathan King, CGTN, outside the US Congress.